Well, it's that time again. Time for a brand new week on. Now, this is a week on I've kind of been wanting to do for a while, because almost two years to the day, in February 2017, a study was released that said we shouldn't be eating five fruit and veg a day. No, no, we shouldn't be doing that. That's ridiculous, because nobody could do it anyway, because five is a lot to fit into one day. Oh, no. We, in fact, should be having ten a day. Yes, ten. Ten portions of fruit and veg per day. Hmm, that, that's, I can imagine, not easy, because most people, unless you're on the internet and you like to lie, don't eat five portions of fruit and veg per day. I'm sure you might do it occasionally, you might even do it some days a week, or most days a week, but if you do it ten days a week, unless you're a vegan, Let's be honest, but they don't count because that's all they can eat. And grains, I suppose. But there we go. That That is what 10 fruit and veg looks. So that's what you have to eat in the day. Of course, obviously not. But um, th this is partly what I'm going to be eating this week. I've stocked up. Hopefully these bananas last longer than like three hours because bananas seem to go off quite quickly. But, um, you know, we'll see what we can do about that, won't we? Because ten's a lot. So, yes, essentially... I am going to eat, it's going to be average out about three portions of fruit and or veg per meal, isn't it? With one snack thrown in there somewhere in the mix. Oh god, I'm losing apples already. I'm going to put that down. So essentially, yes, I'm going to eat my, de my allowance of ten fruit or veg a day. Ten fruit and veg a day. So I'm going to start really now with a banana for breakfast because it is early in the morning. So... Uh, oh, that's a good start. We've got, we've got a black banana. It's everyone's favourite. I'm not going to waste it though. So, I've already jumped on the scales this morning. Don't worry, this is not going to falsify those results. I'm going to probably edit it in right now because it's, it's, it's awful. I have had a bad time since Christmas. But, you know... What are you going to do? I always said I wouldn't eat a banana. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it slightly on because imagine the Photoshop dicks. Don't imagine that. So, this is my week ahead. I think I'm going to have this and this and see what constitutes a portion probably should address. I've just thought of that. It's, it's basically a portion that you can fit into your hand. So that actually doesn't sound too bad. So I'm going to have this for breakfast. That counts as three, I would say. So it's not going to be too bad. Probably going to enjoy the first couple of days of this one. I'm going to call it now. And then it's just going to get a hassle. Because I have to cook a lot. And I don't like weekends where I have to cook a lot. I want to do a week on KFC. I won't have to cook at all in that one. It's mine and everyone's favourite part of the week on. Getting on the old scale, so 14, 12 exactly, that should make the maths at the end nice and easy, so. Well that's three down, so why don't we make it four, with a innocent apple and raspberry juice thing, family sized. So look, one of your five a day, you want to up that mate, you want to double that. So one of your serving contains one of your five a day, and apparently there are nine servings in this, I mean I know it's family sized, but... That's not much, really, is it? I wouldn't have said that that was family size, really. <laughs> You've because, got a small family. Well, yeah, but most families are two, two adults nine. and two children. Two or three children. Yeah. It's going to last very long, isn't it? So, you're going to partake in this. You're not doing this week on with me, are you? No, but I wanted to try this. But you want to try the juice? No. So this is going to take my count up to four already. See, I mean, look, already we're... Like halfway through. Wow, so yeah, this is probably a bit more than one then, isn't it? Yeah. This is probably like one and a half servings. So, ooh, can I, I don't know how I'm going to work that out, but we'll see. It's nice. Mm, very apply. It is very apply, which is unsurprising. It's a key ingredient. Mm. Yeah, it's alright? Yeah. Yeah, really good. So, um,. I'm probably I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make the maths less complicated. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have like two thirds of this, and then you can finish it off. So then I can make my maths easier. So it'll be four portions. That's good. 
What sort of week on would it be if certain Basil didn't make an appearance? Eh? Oh, sniff, sniff. Wow, you're actually not afraid of the camera today. Are you a good boy? Well, I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to spoil it. Oh, there we go, you spoiled it. So I'm currently on the NHS website, which uh, has some of this information about 10 a day. And I'm kind of looking and seeing what's involved and, and what the benefits are. And it, it sort of basically goes into information about reducing risk of, of illness. So it reduces your risk of 8% for getting heart disease, 16% for stroke, 8% for total cardiovascular disease, 3% for total cancer, not all that much, and 10% for all-cause death. What is all-cause death? So does that mean there's 10% chance of me not being hit by a car? Is, is, is that how it works? Am I going to become immortal if, if I eat lots of fruit and veg? Perhaps. So today is Sunday, the day I am filming this, day one, and it should be the day of rest, as Jeebus intended. However, I am doing a degree, so it is one of the opportunities that I have to actually do my my work for that. Um, and a lot of people asked in the last week on, what what is your degree in, Mike? Well, hopefully, when I achieve it, if I achieve it, it will be an MA in creative writing. See, um, that's a hard half a heart symbol because I'm holding the camera with the other one um, because I love my writing speaking of which virals available to buy paperback ebook links in the description during this week on I think I'm just gonna showcase some smaller youtubers that I enjoy watching uh, the first is Lotus Prince he does uh, let's play videos but one of my favorite videos that he ever did was a uh, a complete sort of look at every version of Resident Evil 2 ever made so I'm gonna chuck a link in the old description room uh, that's another thing and um, I recommend checking this out because it goes into monumental detail about Resident Evil 2 minus obviously the new one because this is um, a, a couple of years old this video now but it's a very good one so I definitely recommend you check it out. Not sure if anyone's ever told you this before but fruit is not massively filling so it is uh, it, it, it's approaching <laughs> half ten it's still early but I'm very hungry so um, so yeah not fruit and fruit juice not that filling. I should be as healthy as a horse by now but I'm not full. So um yes, I'm going to um I'm going to start start lunch. I'm very excited for it. So let's see why. I am very excited about lunch today because it's going to be a great way to get in a bunch of vegetables, which you know not so great, but it's going to go with this massive shoulder joint boneless pork. And listen to this. Listen how satisfying this is. Oh, yes. That is a slappable bit of pork. So um, this thing, apparently, it, uh, well, serves nine. So that, I mean, that's ridiculous. What's the thing with things serving nine? I don't know, but it's going to take two hours, whoops, 45 minutes to cook. So I'm going to get the oven on nice and early. That's still wrong. And uh, yeah, I'm going to cook this for yeah, pretty much three hours. So I am excited. The, uh, the pressure's on to get this nice, you know. For me? Yeah. You're cooking it. Fine. Right, time for this bad boy to go in the oven. Oh. Oof, that is warm. That is certainly warm. So essentially we've cracked it right up, just so we can get some nice crackling on there. So with the pork doing its thing and smelling bloody amazing, it's time to prepare the vegetables. So we have Potatoes, which don't count, but you know, we can't have a roast dinner without some roast potatoes, can we? And then we have, yes, it's fully prepared already, cabbage and leek, which um, is probably one of my favourite things to have. So we've got that, we've also got mixed vegetable medley, lovely, and some petites pois. Petit pois before I get the comments. So we're going to prepare this, not much to prepare, I suppose we we'll prepare these. And um, yes, oh, the smell. The smell. I am so ready for this. <laughs> now, how's about that? And listen to this. Listen, listen. Oh, I'm gonna let this uh, rest and cool down a bit. Then we'll... What you do? Do you carve it? Slice it? We'll slice it. We'll slice it. Oh, ah. So Gracie is going to tend to my meat. 
I've got some veggies on the go there, some veggies on the go in there, and also um, to add to the veginess, carrot and sweet mash, which is kind of it's frozen in these little lumps of carrot and sweet mash, which you just kind of like shove in a pan just to kind of uh, mush up. So things are all a bit hectic right now, so um, start off and leave us alone. Oh my word. Oh, that's good. This <laughs> looks and smells and probably sounds amazing. If you wouldn't mind doing me the uh, honours with the old gravy. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum, yum. So, I mean, I would guess I've got the, the ratio pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, basically half the plate there is veg. So we've got the uh, the carrot and sweet mash, which is nyo. And then we've got like mixed vegetables, some baby corn in there, some broccoli, some more carrots. And then we've got the old cabbage and leek, which is... Yes, I am a fan of cabbage and leek. I'm not so much a fan. You're not so much. But I've got time mm. for it. But I love it. These roasts run point as well. Yeah, they look really good. And this pork, I mean, not going to lie, we have been picking at it throughout the... Because who doesn't? Because who doesn't? And to be honest... Oh my God. It's really good. It's amazing. The kind of... The charred outside... Mm. Is so good. And it's nice and moist in the middle. And the crackling... Oh. Mm. What Sundays are about, man? This is a British Sunday. And also, there's some left for tomorrow. Yay! Look at all that veg and meat. So, excuse us, we're going to go and eat this rather than stand at the counter and um, admire it. Because, mm, give me a high five on that one. Yes. I'm so full. That was so good though, but I'm so full now. Oh, I'm gonna call that three, three portions of veg. Cause that was a lot of veg, more than three of those. Yes, I'm very, very full. So I'm gonna sleep for a bit. I've got stuff I could be getting on with, but I'm gonna sleep. I'll sleep now. Ooh, that makes my eye look weird. So I've spent the last couple of hours doing some more work. And now I can't be asked to do any more. was super full. Um, and then I got super tired. And now I'm working and now I'm super tired again. I'm not all that hungry either, but I'm still three fruit or veg down so we're gonna have to you know, find something substantial ish or not i mean i kind of don't want to just eat fruit so i'm gonna find something that's a bit it's a bit of a variation so yeah it oh it is 20 past seven in the evening so yes it is very much time to get some food i think before i fall asleep Needs the energy. I'm not going to pretend that I'm going to create some masterpiece for dinner. I'm going to crack out the good old beans, which are pretty much featured in every single week on I've ever done. But um, as you can see, going by the tin, one of your five a day. And that's if I have half a tin. And I'm only going to have half a tin because I'm not massively hungry, but I kind of feel like I should have something. So I'm going to have beans on toast, have a little bit of bread with it. And, um, yeah, probably have to then top it up with some fruit afterwards. But that's all right. That's all good. So I'm going to stick these on. Or uh, in, I should say. Oh, God. There, there we go. Uh, this thing is, is magnetic, so it's really annoying. So there we go. Yeah, let's get you on. Two slices of toast. And on go the beans. Uh, there we go. So, it's a week on. If you expect cooking on this show, then, you know, go to Barry Lewis or something. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> there's really not much to say about it. There's beans on toast. One of my five a day. What you doing? What are you sniffing about for, huh? You want some fruit? Because that's what I've got. Got some fruit for pudding. Got some red seedless grapes. And 
Some strawberries. Are you going to join me with some fruits? That's a strawberry. You can Here's Basil, like, looking disapprovingly at the fruit. Then I'm going to play Horizon Zero Dawn because I'm down current. It's what the kids are playing now with the Fortnites and the Minecrafts and, and stuff. Oi. Right, let's have a, a quick try of a strawberry. Oh, they, they're growing things. That's what strawberries do. <laughs> oh, that tart. The bishop said to the actress, or whatever they go. What? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Ooh, could do with a little bit, little bit of um, ripening those. You want to sniff? Sniff? Mm, no. Nah. Someone's not impressed. I'm not particularly impressed either. Ugh, but I've got two portions left to eat. Mmm, they're nice. So I'm going to make my way through these. Play a bit of uh, Horizon. We can call it a day, I think. Moody. Oh, right then, that was day one of a week on ten a day. And there's something I, I didn't sort of uh, specify at the start of this episode, in that this is not like a weight loss week on. So we're not looking at whether I'm going to gain weight or probably more likely lose weight. This is more of a, a look at uh, seeing how easy it is to actually have 10 portions of fruit or veg and veg a day. Um, because, yeah, let's be honest, I normally struggle with five <laughs> and they say and, and it's kind of a, a well-known thing that you're supposed to have five a day well, at least until a couple of years ago when they changed it to ten although everyone kind of ignored that didn't they so how did the day go well I have a list because I can't remember so breakfast was banana apple and two satsumas then uh, it was a glass of apple and raspberry juice. That was very nice. I'm looking forward to uh, having more of that. Actually, that was nine portions in that whole thing, wasn't it? I could just maybe for the whole week have one of those and then like an apple every day and, and that would do it. So maybe. Um, and then for lunch, cabbage and leek, mixed veg, carrot and swede. So lunch was very good. That pork was amazing. Potatoes don't count towards the ten a day. Otherwise I could just have chips. So maybe um, maybe we could change the rules. Mm, I don't know. Dinner then was beans and some strawberries and some grapes. So today was a success. Um, apart from after having um, fruit for breakfast, I was a little bit hungry. But then lunch was enormous and kept me going for pretty much the entire day. I thought I was going to have some of the uh, the fruit as a snack throughout the afternoon, but. Nope, didn't want it whatsoever, and I do have some leftovers from uh, lunch for to, for lunch tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. So um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting week to see if I can sort of balance working with YouTubing, with uniing, with uh, trying to prepare food with um, enough vegetables in it to feed a small farmyard. So we'll see how that goes, won't we? Uh, so if you want to find out how it does go down, you can subscribe to the channel, uh, share the video, like video, all that kind of stuff. You can support the show on Patreon if you want to see the entire week early. Um, it, it really does help because uh, YouTube's going down the pan because apparently they're, they're helping predators now, which, you know, that's... Uh, what are you like, YouTube? Although no, they're not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Next day. So yes, you can support the show on Patreon if you like, or my book is available to purchase via, uh, by all sort of good retailers, I suppose, on ebook or physical copy. And um, yeah, this, 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 it's going, it's going well so far. So no, no, no moaning from me yet. But we'll see how that goes, won't we? So hopefully, if you choose to stick around, I'll see you for day two.